So this time we're going to do the same movement, but we're going to imitate the handstand position. So we're going to start by standing tall, you're going to have your feet together, you're going to squeeze your glutes and inner thighs, and you're going to keep those suspenders on, zip up your pants, have that activation of the core. From here, you're going to extend overhead, make sure you're keeping that activation, okay? Do a few of those core movements first, okay? Making sure you're keeping yourself tucked in and you're not letting go. Once you've got that feeling of the core movement, you're going to extend overhead, you're going to flex your wrists as much as possible like you're in a handstand position, okay? Flexing here. And then from here, keeping that position, you're going to lift your head up and look between your fingers and then bring your head back down. So the movement and the alignment is here. Looking up and down. Now, you're also going to feel your neck muscles working extremely hard. So when you bring it yourself, you're having a short body, contracted body, but still extending up at the same time. And your head is like a little tortoise sticking its head out of the shell. But it's contracted down, pressing into the back of your neck. So when you do that, you're, you're contracted and you're looking up. And your head is between your hands. It's not out here. It's in between your arms and hands looking up keeping your core contracted the whole time. Now I'm going to imitate that same movement on the floor for those that find it a little bit difficult for now in a prone position. We're going to lie down, feet together, hands come out, you can flex the arms here, lift them off the ground. We're going to put our head down this time and we're just going to have our head resting on the ground. From here, you're going to squeeze your belly up, squeeze your inner thighs in and lift the core up and here, holding here for five, and then look forward for five. Holding here for five, look forward for five. And do this for about 35 seconds. This is gonna really help you to build that strength, alignment, and core with your shoulder flexibility, as well as shoulder strength and your core alignment all in one. The fundamentals are so important to getting that great basis, but also doing them enough so they're sinking into your body just like walking that you trust it and you don't have to think about it, you can just do it and communicate without too many thoughts.